uh, Pitts ranked, top ranked, I should say, top 20 ranked Mid America Nazarene against the hometown Graceland University Yellow Jackets. And it's live on NSCAATV.com. Welcome, everybody. My name is Scott Miller. We're in beautiful Lamoni, Iowa, where tonight we've got just a gorgeous night for soccer. And both teams are warming up in what should be a great game. And if the women's game is any indication how great this game will be, why not? The women and of these two schools both went to a 1-1 double overtime tie to start out the Heart of America Athletic Conference season. But these two teams are uh, getting ready to go now. This is the men's side. Uh, Mid-America Nazarene and Graceland University. Let's take a look at the records for both clubs, first of all. For the visiting pioneers from Mid-America Nazarene out of Olathe, Kansas, their record is 8-2-1, and one. and on the road this year, they are 3-2. and two. On the other side, for the Yellow Jackets, they are 4-5 and five overall. At home, they are an identical 3-2, and two. so in some ways, something's got to give tonight, and this is the Heart of America Conference opener for both these squads, so there's some extra incentive tonight get a good showing here and that gets you off to a great start in the conference a very tough conference it is for uh, the yellow jackets again four and five on the season they are uh, they have lost two in a row and they have taken on three ranked teams so far this year and each time they've come up with losses to those ranked teams they lost to Hannibal LaGrange which at the time was ranked number seven they lost that game zero to one then they lost to number four Hastings College, a very tough uh, university out of uh, Nebraska, central Nebraska. Uh, uh, one to nothing was that final score. Then they uh, got close, but they couldn't uh, get over the hump to beat number eight Ashford University three to two. Their last win was against Park University on uh, September 17th, and they got defeated uh, Park two to one. And so here we are tonight, uh, the uh, Yellow Jackets looking to erase this uh, two game slide that they're on right now. Meanwhile, for Mid-America Nazarene, boy, they're very, very, very successful. Again, as I mentioned before, 8-2-1 and one in all games played. There are two losses, one of which uh, came early on in the season at a tournament out in Salt Lake City at Westminster College out there, a very tough NAIA squad. They got the win on the opening day, then the second night they lost to the hometown uh, Griffins, and that was their first loss of the season. They then lost to a ranked, uh, very tough Oklahoma Wesleyan University in Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Boy, that's a tough place to go down there and try to get the victory, and they came away with that loss. But since then, it's just been uh, pretty much win-win-win for the Pioneers. Again, they come into tonight's game with a mark of 8-2-1. and one. So we'll see what's uh, got to give here, and we'll take a break right here. Be back to Lamoni in just a moment. Graceland is a, is a great university because of the people and because of the individuals we have here. Our Graceland soccer program um, stands out because we care for those individuals to develop them as people. In our program, we define success both in the classroom and on the soccer pitch. Tra -la -la, tra -la, tra -la. Each year, the NSCAA puts over 7,000 coaches through our coaching education program. Youth, high school, and college coaches at all levels participate in the diploma courses. Join your peers and get educated. Better coaching, better players, better game. NSCAA Coaching Academy. Improving soccer, one coach at a time. Register today. Welcome back to Lamoni, Iowa. We're on the campus of Graceland University, where the four and five Yellow Jackets will take on the eight, two, and one Pioneers out of Mid America Nazarene. Hello again, everybody. Scott Miller with you here, Mike's side tonight on just a gorgeous night for soccer. Let's give you a little weather update as we've had here in Lamoni, Iowa today. It started out raining quite heavily throughout the morning, and it finally let up about one o'clock this afternoon. And then for the women's and now the men's games, it's going to be just gorgeous. Look above me right now. Not too many clouds off to the east, just a bit, just a few remaining clouds. But I look out to the west and see nothing but a golden, golden sunset. It's going to be just a gorgeous, gorgeous night. Both teams have pretty much uh, wrapped up their warm-up and they're receiving their final instructions. 
And the, the Pioneers of Mid-America Nazarene will be in their all-road red uniforms tonight, it looks like. And the hometown Yellow Jackets should be in their all-whites tonight. And uh, they should be getting underway in just a couple of minutes. Mid-America Nazarene is under the uh, direction of uh, head coach Kevin Wardlow, and his assistant is Matt Gow. On the other side, uh, Guillermo Sanchez is the uh, head coach for the Yellow Jackets of Graceland University. This is his fourth season, and his fifth on the uh, Yellow Jackets bench. His overall mark as a head coach is 27-30-5, and, and in the Heart of America Conference, almost 500-11-10, and one tie in his four seasons as head coach of Graceland University. So not too bad of a mark there. Again, they would like to get off to tonight to end that two-game losing slide, but more importantly, get off to a 1-0 start in the Heart of America Athletic Conference. Always a tough conference no matter what they're playing. And uh, they got a great night for uh, soccer, and we'll be uh, coming up here in about uh, four and a half minutes or so, the start of this game. We would like to thank our official hotel sponsor of tonight's National Game of the Week broadcast, Super 8 Motel, right here in Lamoni, Iowa, just two miles from Graceland's campus off US 69. Super 8 Motel is a great, convenient location for fans, families, and opposing teams to stay while in town visiting Graceland University. To learn more or to book your next stay, visit them online at www.super8.com or call the location directly at 641 784 7500. That number again is 641. 641-784-7500. Officials from the uh, last uh, contest played tonight are going to hang around for the men's conference uh, co contest tonight. One of the uh, side judges will take over as the head referee, I believe. So we'll see how that, uh, that plays out. As we look around the field, we see Mid-America uh, Nazarene getting their final set of instructions from their head coach, Kevin Wardlaw. Mid-America Nazarene is a school located in Olathe, Kansas, just outside of Kansas City, like about uh, 25 miles from downtown Kansas City, Missouri. They've had some struggles over the last few years as far as... Uh, their situation goes, but uh, hey, the Pioneers keep fighting. You would expect nothing more from them uh, in, in how they do things there at Mid-America Nazarene. Meanwhile, Graceland University right here in Lamoni, Iowa. If I saw it as I drove in, I'd see founded in 1895. Been around for quite some time. Graceland College all the way up until 1995, if memory serves, and they finally changed to Graceland University. They also have a uh, satellite campus in the uh, greater Kansas City area. They have a small campus in Independence, Missouri. Hugs and high fives is what you're seeing a lot of as you look around here tonight. Good uh, turnout tonight. We had uh, for the women's game, looks like a lot of those people are staying for the men's game as well too. And actually, uh, the fans from Mid-America Nazarene made about the two-and-a-half-hour trip. Pretty good number of them up here to watch the women's game. Hopefully, they'll stick around for the men's game as well. You look around, see a lot of blankets, maybe some sleeping bags here or there. It's going to be a little bit chilly. About a couple hours ago, it was 64. We pulled in here into town. That's certainly going to dip tonight as we've had some rain. And fall is upon us. So it's, uh, the overnight low probably should be down in the mid-40s before we're all done with it. But uh, either way, these guys are going to have a good night for soccer. Mid-America Nazarene breaks the huddle. And now the captains will have their meetings with the referees and the two assistants. A couple more things about Graceland University. They currently rank 26th in the nation in total saves. They have 46 on the season. And they ranked 33rd in total assists with 15 in 2013. On an individual basis, Michael Schmidt, their uh, goalkeeper, ranks 12th in total saves. He has 44 on the season. And Cody Bladinger ranks 30th in the nation in total game-winning goals. And that's a two right now. 
So we've got a long ways to go before any of that changes. And both teams are now lining up on the sideline ready to get, get started tonight. And we're under 30 seconds or so before the start of the, the official start of everything that's going to go on here. Head into the little pregame. Good evening and welcome to Rasmus Field here in Lamoni, Iowa. As the Great Foot Yellow Jackets take off. <laughs> and from time to time, you'll today, hear the public uh, address announcer. We have a uh, speaker Iowa. right in front of us, and so you'll you'll hear that from time to time tonight. And if Starting you and if you can't hear that at home, Pioneers, number one, Christopher Erickson. <laughs> number two, Jonathan Babcock. Number three, Stephen Felipe. Number five, Steven Ariel Felipe. Norris. Ariel Number Norris. Number Rodrigo Rivez. Number 12, Jeremy Kofi. And you see the lineups there on your screen Black. there for uh, Mid-American Nazarene as they're being introduced here. Number 17, Alvaro Beltran. Number 21, Lucas Muchando. And number 22. And in goal tonight Adam for the uh, Pioneers, Christopher Erickson. And now the lineups uh, for the starting lineups for the Yellow Jackets of Graceland University. Again, four and five on the season. And they're going to add some uh, music there for them. And in goal for the Yellow Jackets, Michael Schmidt. Getting 44 saves on the season. Number two, Layman A sophomore defender from San Andres, Colombia. Number four, Sebastian Pineda. Sebastian Pineda from Colombia. Coming a long way to play college six, soccer. Kevin Err, a senior out of Creston, Iowa, is up next. A sophomore midfielder from Brazil, number eight, Mateus Miranda. Mateus Miranda, midfielder, a sophomore. He's another international player hailing out of Brazil. A sophomore midfielder from Harrisonville, Missouri. Quintanilla is a senior from Toronto, Ontario. Cody Bladinger talked about him at the outset. He's a midfielder, a sophomore from Harrison, Missouri. Brandon Beresford, a midfielder from Jonesboro, Georgia. Coming a long way here in the States to play soccer. Corey Arnold, a sophomore midfielder from Blue Springs, Missouri, just outside of Kansas City. Number 20, Ryan Schlamm. Ryan Schlamm, a freshman, one of the few freshmen on this team at San Andres, Colombia. And rounding out the starters, Abraham Schumar, a junior from Brownsville, Texas. So I will say this about the uh, hometown Graceland University. They're very well represented as far as the international scene is concerned. Two players out of Colombia, Venezuela, Brazil, and Spain, along with Ontario and Venezuela. Goodness gracious. So we're just about set to get underway. Both teams now just uh, having the last few seconds of a huddle up. Mid-American Nazarene, they're all going to drop to a knee. And you see the uh, Graceland Yellow Jackets jumping around, taking a little bit different approach as they head out to the field. <laughs> Singing that old familiar soccer tune you hear uh, coming out of uh, the international scene. Programs handy for every Graceland goal scored. Subway of Lamont, I will be giving out prizes. Two six inch Subway sandwiches. So we're set to go. The hometown Yellow Jackets will be booting in the goal to our right. Pioneers will go in the goal to our left. Again, the Yellow Jackets and their home whites with the blue and gold trim. The blue numerals. And the white socks on the other side. Pioneers in their road reds with the gray trim and the white numerals and the red socks.
And we are underway. Pioneers with their first look. And quickly they establish getting into the Yellow Jackets half of the field. Yellow Jackets quickly take it away. Ball over there on the far side. Good little foot race there. We have a whistle. And it's going to go back the other way. You throw in, and now here is uh, the here's the Yellow Jackets with another look at it. Fernandez with a little boot off to the right there, picked up by Kofi. Ball now on the far sideline. Pioneers content just to kind of set sets the things up near the midfield area. Just playing keep away. Again, they're 8-2-1 and one on the season. Lost to Westminster out in Utah and Oklahoma in Bartlesville, Oklahoma. A little kick along the far sideline. Ball out of bounds. The Pioneers keep possession. Nearly two minutes gone by, still no score, but it is early. Pioneers. In one poll they're ranked 15th, and another one they're ranked 16th. And we have a little action over there on the far sideline. And the Pioneers end up on the field. So they're going to have a free kick here. We're in the third minute here in Lamoni, Iowa. No score. Pioneers of Mid-American Nazarene taking on the Yellow Jackets of Graceland University. Long kick. Good head move there by Pineda. Send it back out of bounds. Sebastian Pineda, the sophomore from San Andreas y Las Columbia. And now a little indecisiveness, but then the Pioneers get it back into play. You know, when they set up, they really like to take it back near the box, their own box, that is, just to see what's out there, see how the Yellow Jackets are going to react. Good long kick up ahead. Waiting for the zero is Kairugo. And again, the uh, Pioneers set up and see what is out there. Stefan Felipe here on the near sideline with the ball. Kicking it right to the center of the field. Here's a long kick. That's a beauty. All over there on the uh, far side. Alvaro Beltran. Once again, Felipe. And the kick out of bounds. Pioneers have it. Four minutes we played, still no score. And finally, here comes the throw-in from Mid-American Nazarene. Jonathan Babcock to throw it in. Looks like they want to throw it in the traffic, but instead he gets it back to uh, Felipe. Long boot from Norris. It's a high one, and taken there by Schmidt. Senior goalie for the uh, Yellow Jackets out of Ames, Iowa. A couple of hours up the road, home of Iowa State University. Go, 
Here's the Yellow Jackets. They also are trying to uh, just establish something here back near their own box. Here along the near sideline is Corey Arnold. Taking the pioneer half of the field, and that's quickly uh, booted away by Esparza. But then a long boot from, uh, Sebast from, from Pineda. And again, the Pioneers end up with it. He's boot over to Felipe here on the near side of the field. Long kick up ahead, and Yellow Jackets in the way. Felipe with a long kick. And a high kick just to get it out. Almost makes it into the stands. But not to worry. Coming up on six minutes played. Still no score. Pioneers and Yellow Jackets. And we got a whistle. And it's going to be a Yellow Jacket free kick. And here it is. That's just a gorgeous long kick and a head move on the other end. Kofi saves it from going out of bounds, but then it does go off his, actually it goes off of the uh, Yellow Jackets. So a throw in coming up for the Pioneers. Eight, two and one they are on the season. On the road, they are three and two. And the Yellow Jackets at home are three and two. So something's got to get there tonight. Again, the Pioneers just content to establish something before they get something moving. Felipe again. He's got some good moves so far tonight. Good kick up ahead. Pioneers there to take it away. And chasing it over there on the far side is Beltran. Play a little bit of keep away there. Ball out of bounds over there on the far side. Coming up on eight minutes gone by. Still no score. Hometown Yellow Jackets against the visiting pioneers of Mid-America Nazarene. Throw in coming up here for Graceland University. Trying to set it up and get something going. Sebastian Pineda with a long kick up ahead. Here's an answer back by Norest. Along the near sideline is Corey Arnold. Felipe with the takeaway, having some trouble there. Felipe with the kick into, front, into the yellow jacket side of the field. And booting it just to get it out of there is Corey Blatt uh, Blettlinger. He's a sophomore out of Harrisonville, Missouri. Nine minutes gone by. Still no score. A throwing coming up for Mid-America Nazarene. Jonathan Babcock will throw it in. Freshman out of Edwardsville, Illinois. Good toss there into the box with the head move there by Graceland University. Gets it out of there. Another high boot. And Schmidt finally takes it in. So still no score as we played nine and a half minutes. Schmidt with a long kick. It's high. Kind of short. Yellow Jackets just booting it around. 
Arnold with it, booting it up ahead. Right into the Pioneers. Felipe with a good move there. He's waiting for it yet again. Felipe on the near sideline, looking around. Finally with a long kick up ahead. And Schmidt finally picks it up. Looks like he wants to throw, but now I think he, ah, he might throw, but now he just might do the drop kick. Here it is. Beautiful long kick. Waiting for it over there is Babcock. Good little move there by Fernandez. Here Fernandez is again. Kofi with it. The top of the box is where his kick goes, but the Yellow Jackets take it away. Specifically, it's Pineda. Beresford has to kick it away too, and now here's the Yellow Jackets try to get something set up as they move into the Pioneers' half of the field. Kofi with the steal. Yellow Jackets giving them some fits there. Got to like that defense. Pioneers for their 8-2-1 mark have uh, had kind of a little bit of a struggle here in the first 10 minutes or so trying to establish anything. Jackets just trying to keep it, uh, keep it away, and you see a good look there to do just that. We come up on 12 minutes gone by. Still no score between the Yellow Jackets of Graceland and the Pioneers of Mid-America Nazarene. There's a long kick up ahead. I'm waiting for there is uh, Erickson. Beautiful long kick up ahead by Norris. Norris again chases it down. He just gets in your hair, won't let go. Here's the Yellow Jackets with a throw in on the far sideline. And again, they'll establish between their three backfield types and try to move something going to here. Here's Corey Arnold with it all by himself. Corey Arnold calls for the ball. He gets it right here along the near sideline. Has some room and boots to the head. A little pushing and shoving there as they boot the ball around. Kind of like the new soccer. Back in younger days, it was uh, no hands of any kind, but now that's just part of the game now. You see a little kind of a shove there. Oh, here's a good look, maybe. Nah, quickly taken away. Norris with a long kick up ahead, and that's beautiful, and it is out. So the Yellow Jackets have a throw in. As we come up on 14 minutes gone by here in the first half between uh, Graceland and Mid-American Nazarene, no score. A lot of spirit to play, though, on both sides. That's good to see. Yellow Jackets four and five on the season, right in a two-game losing streak. While the Pioneers come in ranked, 15th or 16th, depending on which poll you're looking at, and an eight-two and one mark. Mid-American Nazarene with a throw in there on the far side of the field. <clears throat> And they'll try to establish. Here's Norris with it. Long kick up ahead. Little head move there. Waiting for it here is Shlom. Has it taken away. Here's Kofi. Kicks to the far side near the corner area. Chase them all down. There's Beresford. We'll make that uh, Beltran. 
Good head move there. Just past the 15 minute mark. And another great head move. Norris with it for Mid-American Nazarene. Kofi goes out of bounds off his foot, so the Yellow Jackets have a throw in. Touched by the Pioneers for a Yellow Jacket throw in. Corey Arnold with a long throw in right at midfield. Very quickly, another throw in there, too. And here is Mid-American Nazarene, Fernandez, booting it over to the far side. Over there is Beltran. And off his foot and off a Yellow Jacks player's foot. And so the uh, Pioneers will have a throw in. Beltran there along in the corner. A good little kick there into traffic, and the boot. Oh, this one just out. That could not have been any better there. Beltran with a long kick, and waiting for it on the other side there is Mid-American Nazarene's Taylor Esparza. Right there on the left of the goal, had a good clear shot at it past Schmidt's head, but then the kick went a lot more straight than he wanted to, so still no score. As we come up on 17 minutes gone by here in this contest, still no score. Free kick at midfield for the Yellow Jackets. Kicking from left to right as you're looking at your screen right now. And we hear a whistle on the other end. So the Pioneers will have it. Michael Schmidt. Oh, we make that uh, Christopher Erickson. Erickson from Sweden. That's a very Swedish name. Beautiful long kick and a head move there on the other side for the Pioneers and then one high in the air. This one is up for grabs or up for heads in this case. And here's the Yellow Jackets. Schlom gets it away. And the Pioneers get it back on a throw in. Felipe to throw it in. Finds Norris there. Schmidt just taking his time. Make that Erickson. Here it is. Yeah, I'll just kind of boot it around a bit. There's the long one up ahead. It's a beautiful header there by uh, Mid by uh, the Yellow Jackets. It's out of bounds. Pioneers with another throw in. Coming up on 19 minutes gone by. Still no score. Between Graceland and Mid-American Nazarene. We've got balls going out of bounds over there on the far side, but they keep it in. Yellow Jackets on the attack. Here's Arnold along the near sideline. Booted over to uh, Miranda. Now back to Arnold. And he has it taken away momentarily. And now here's Fernandez with it. Booted up ahead. Can't thread the needle there. Good little moves there by Mid-American Nazarene. Kick from left to right side of the field there. Just a beautiful move there. Kofi kicking it around. Here's Felipe with it at the midfield stripe. Now Norris with a long kick up the far sideline. Beltran is there. Little head move there. But it does go out of bounds, so the Yellow Jackets will have a throw-in coming up in just a moment. By the Pioneers for a Yellow Jacket throw-in. Coming up on 20 minutes play tonight. Boot there, and there's Coffee with it. Get it back to Felipe.
Little foot race there. Perhaps a shove, don't know. Schlom with Felipe on his, Coffee on his back. And now we get the whistle. And getting a word or two from the official is Taylor Esparza, senior from Olathe, Kansas. A little bit too much body there. So here comes a kick coming up for the Yellow Jackets. Just over 20 minutes gone by. Being told to move the ball back just a wee bit. Keep going, keep going. Sebastian Pineda now. Get it back into play. And what a gorgeous kick this is. Oh, this is a good move there. Does it go in? It does! Holy cow! The Yellow Jackets score first! In the 22nd minute. And that's going to be Andy Quintanilla. Leading score for this club out of Toronto, Ontario. Almost happened by accident because one of the Pioneer players actually got a body on it and may have helped it go in. <laughs> but it's Keith Denea who comes and away with the goal. goal fans, get out your programs, and, if you and that comes in the 22nd six, minute, perhaps the 23rd six, minute there. One, now the 22nd two, minute. Andy Quintanilla for the Yellow Jackets give them a 1-0 lead. Program number 56. Please go to the promotional trailer to receive your prizes. Program number 56. Back to action now. Here's Fernandez with it. Booting over the far side. Bell trans there, but just uh, not enough for him. And the Pioneers try to set up. Norris there. Putting the ball over to the far side. And Felipe with a kick up ahead. And a little push. And a whistle to go along with it. Foul on the yellow jacket, leading to a I believe it is Kyle kick. Brown. I see Kyle Brown is going to have the free kick here. Actually, no, it's going to be uh, Taylor Esparza from Mid America Nazarene. I believe it was uh, Brown who uh, got the whistle there. So Esparza going to kick it into. Probably a high traffic area. Here's the kick. It's long. And a couple of head moves there, but Pioneer's still in good position here. And a free kick coming up for the Yellow Jackets. As Lopez ends up on the uh, field. I'll make that Sh Shomar. Quintanilla, the man who just uh, scored the goal. It's over here on the near sideline to his teammate, Ryan wow, Schlom. By the Pioneers for a yellow jacket throw in. And Corey Arnold will throw it in. Ball kicked out of bounds. The last person to touch it, one of the uh, yellow jackets players. So the Pioneers will have to throw in. Boy, high traffic kick there and goes out of bounds, so uh, Yellow Jackets will have it. Played 24 minutes. one nothing is your score. Yellow Jackets in front of the Pioneers. Keep in mind, Yellow Jackets are 0-3 this season against ranked teams. This is their fourth ranked team they've played. They're off to a good start. Here's Kofi for the Pioneers trying to get it away. 
Let's get it back to Felipe. Norest with it there, and he'll have a long kick. Finds one of his teammates waiting for it there. Here's Fernandez. Now the Yellow Jack is taken away. Beltran over there on the far side. Fernandez now with it along the midfield stripe. And now here's Andy Quintanilla, the manager just scored, trying to chase it down, and he gets tripped. No whistle. The hometown fans go bananas over that one. Norris with a long kick, and they'll get it back to Felipe. Just under 25 minutes gone by, 1-0 your score. Yellow Jackets of Graceland University in front of the Pioneers of Mid-America Nazarene. Good little juke move there over there on the far side. Kind of a weak kick there, and uh, the Pioneers will take it back. Pioneers down, one, uh, one to nothing. And now they have a, a look. Here we go. Foot race, but the Yellow Jackets get it out of there. Shlom falling on the ground, and we have a whistle. And it's going to be the Pioneers with a free kick. And on the kick of the way is Taylor Esparza. Kicks in the high traffic area and booted away. Booted away by Sebastian Pineda. Here's Kofi, right at midfield. A long kick up ahead. Another good head move there by the Yellow Jackets. Kofi gets the ball yet again. Now kick it around over there on the far side. And clear it away, just one of the Yellow Jackets. Just about 27 minutes gone by, 1-0 is the score. Graceland in front of Mid-America Nazarene. The Pioneers trying to get something on before halftime. Still got a ways to go before that. But you have to admit that with the uh, goal that scored by Andy Quintanilla of Graceland just a few moments ago, that's really picked them up, giving them quite the spark. They're much different team as we have a host of substitutions ready to come on the field for Mid-American Nazarene when we get a moment or two. Erickson chasing it down. He gets uh, he gets away from that and the kick and it's going in. Yes, 2-0 to score. Graceland. Holy cow. Brandon Beresford, right place, right situation at the right time. Erickson for Mid-American Nazarene comes out of the goal. And that left uh, Beresford all alone. A little kick, and it just rolled right in. Had one of the Pioneer players had a chance to boot it away, but no, it just slowly rolled in. 2 nothing is the lead for Graceland University. And now we have a player down for the Pioneers. Let's see who this is as he slowly gets up. And he's up and then he's back down. He's in some pain. And we do have a red card. And now the trainer for Mid-American Nazarene is coming on the uh, field. And the player who's hurt for the Pioneers is Jonathan Babcock, a freshman out of Edwardsville, Illinois. And now we have one of the Mid-American Nazarene players giving an earful to the head referee. The head referee steps over and talks to the head coach of Mid-American Nazarene, Kevin Wardlaw. And we're going to have a free kick here. Brandon Beresford. 
They still have the 2-0 score up on the board. And Erickson is waiting for it. Here's Beresford with the approach. Kick. Score. Okay, they did put one nothing back on the board as he made the kick. Doesn't matter, it goes in, so it's two nothing here with about 17 and a half minutes to play until halftime. Two nothing is the score. The hometown Graceland University Yellow Jackets and their fans on their feet for this one. Beresford gives them a two nothing lead. And who would have thunk it? Pioneers came into tonight's game with a mark of 8-2-1. And, and the Yellow Jackets had been, were 0-3 against ranked teams. But in the first half here, they have scored two goals and they're shutting out the ranked Pioneers of Mid-America Nazarene. The substitutions, the worst set to come in, are going to uh, opt out and they're going to keep the original starting Squad for the Pioneers on the field. Fernandez looking around for someone, anyone. And if you think the Yellow Jackets had a, had a kick in their step before, they've really got one now. Erickson with a long kick from the top of the box. He's standing in. And a good collision there with a head move and a whistle. And ending up on the field, Karagayarov, I hope I'm saying that right. And he'll have a free kick. Schmidt waiting for it there in goal for the Yellow Jackets. And we have another collision there and a long kick. Good head move there to get it out of there. And a long kick up ahead. Here's Andy Quintanilla for the Yellow Jackets. In a foot race there with Kofi. Kofi just kicks it away and now here's Erickson waiting for it. Get it back to Kofi along the near sideline. And now Fernandez. Kofi now just clearing it back to Felipe, trying to set something up here. Here's Norris. Felipe yet again. Here, Felipe, they're right there at midfield. Just booting it around. Now here's Felipe. And another push down. And another free kick coming up from Mid-American Nazarene. Kara Gairoff will have that. Yellow jacket foul leading to a pioneer free kick. Notice the action is heated up here. The temperature's taking a dip here in the last 10 minutes or so. A lot more hoods and helmets, uh, hoods and helmets, <laughs> hoods and hats coming on. And a lot of blowing of hands. Free kick coming up for Mid-American Nazarene, and here it is. That's beautiful, but it's over the goal. It was a good look there for Mid-American Nazarene's Lucas Machado. And we have our first substitution now for Mid-American Nazarene. Coming into the contest is Jelani Gio, a junior from Minneapolis, Minnesota. And he will take the place of Taylor Esparza, the senior out of Olathe, Kansas, will sit down. 2-0 is your score. Just under 15 minutes to play until halftime. Andy Quintanilla for the Yellow Jackets. Getting involved a little bit more since scoring his goal. Now the man who just came in gets a look at the ball, and that's Gio. 
Fernandez with a double team pressure. Gets away from that. Still booting it around. Kofi has it. Alvaro over there to uh, Beltran. Good little undercut move there with a kick, and it's going to go against the Yellow Jackets, or make that against the Pioneers, and so the Yellow Jackets have a free kick. Beltran there trying to take it away. Andy Quintanilla for the Yellow Jackets keeps it alive. This is Corey Arnold with it. And he'll get it back to Pineda. Now the Yellow Jackets just setting it up, see what they have to work with. It's a long kick. Good head move there by Felipe. And it looks like we're going to have a free kick for the Pioneers. 2-0 is our score with about 12 and a half minutes to go until halftime. Hometown Yellow Jackets of Graceland University with that lead over Mid-American Nazarene. Fernandez of the Pioneers booting it around. And now it's totally taken away by the Yellow Jackets. Long kick up ahead. Erickson, a little Swedish goalie for the Pioneers. Clears it. And a long kick up ahead. Just outside of 12 minutes to play until halftime. Pioneers looking a little bit more desperate now as they're trying to get something on before they head into the break. In just a few moments. In the meantime, now here's Felipe getting it back to Norris. Beltran over there on the far sideline. And a good look there for Graceland. Felipe over the Beltran. Now back to the midfield area. And here's Felipe. Good takeaway move there by Graceland. And Erickson just chases it down. Long throw ahead this time. Beltran with a boot up ahead. Karagayov over there in the far corner. Ball is out of bounds. And we may, just may, yes we will, we're going to have our first corner kick of the night. Mid-American Nazarene will have the honors. Pioneer corner kick. Everybody Shows the high traffic mode there in the box there. And now here's the long kick. Good move there. And a good save there. The kick by Norris. But Michael Schmidt there waiting for it. For the Pioneers. And he adds to his save total. Should be up to 45, perhaps 46 on the year so far. Score stays 2-0 with just outside of 10 minutes to play until halftime. Beltran along the far sideline. Giglio has it. Here's his kick. A couple of head moves and again, Schmidt hands up with it. Schmidt, the senior goalkeeper from Ames, Iowa. Busy in the last couple of minutes and now we have Corey Arnold who is down for the Yellow Jackets. The head referee coming in to assess and he calls for a stoppage in play. 9.40 to go until halftime. It's the Yellow Jackets 2, the Pioneers nothing. Hey, don't forget you can purchase a video download of any contest of this fall's Game of the Week series by heading to our website. That's www.torbosportsgroup.com. Make the order and Torbo Sports will send you an email link to download the game in full for yours forever to keep. Torbo Sports. Check us out. So Arnold steps out. 
And I believe Tyler Wood comes in to take his place. Sophomore defenseman from Harrisonville, Missouri. We'll have to check on the condition of Arnold here. He'll be looked at by the staff at halftime. We'll see what's up with him. Fernandez of the uh, Pioneers is stepping out. Let's see who goes in for them. I believe it is. Okay, unless Machado came, comes back in. It may be Lepe Sousa who comes in for them, but we'll check it out. Long kick up ahead. Here's Andy Quintanilla of the Graceland. The Yellow Jackets get pummeled to the ground. <laughs> and Norest, who throws him to the ground, comes up with both hands in the air saying, what, who, me? I don't think so. Got more substitutions uh, coming in for both clubs uh, when we have just a moment. I believe Andy Quintanilla is going to have this free kick. Talking as to, to his uh, teammate Cisse, actually it is going to be Cisse who's going to do the kicking. Here's the left footed kick. It's high. Oh, he got some good traffic there. Erickson comes in for a save once, twice, and here he goes. And good clear out there by Mid-American Nazarene just to get it away from there. So Cissé's kick into traffic, and Erickson comes in and just smashes in, gets the ball away, comes over here towards the near side and has another save right there. And that keeps the score 2 nothing. Pioneer's still down by that two-goal deficit. Beresford comes out for, Mid for uh, Graceland. He scored the second goal. And Ryan Schlom also comes out for the Yellow Jackets. Try to keep up on who went in for the uh, Yellow Jackets. Graceland corner kick. And we do have a Graceland corner kick coming up now. Their first of the night. And Andy Quintanilla will, uh, will do that. The uh, Yellow Jackets averaging five corner kicks per game. Here's the first one so far tonight. Quintanilla with a long kick into traffic. A head move there. And a goal is scored. Goal! Holy cow. And who is this? It is Cody Phillips, the junior from Granada Hills, California. Right place, right time. Quintanilla with a long kick along the end line. Over there, the far corner of the goal is Phillips. And he's just standing there. A little head move, a couple of inches into the, into the net. Erickson was nowhere near it. It was actually one of his teammates that had a shot for the save. But not to be. It is uh, the Yellow Jackets moving up. Three nothing. Program number twenty five. Program number twenty five. You have one, two, three, six inch subs sponsored by Subway. Oklahoma. Just outside of seven minutes to play until halftime, and the Yellow Jackets on fire. Three nothing is their lead over the ranked and eight two and one Pioneers out of Mid America Nazarene. Beautiful high kick by the Yellow Jackets. And Felipe with a good head move there. Norris just clears it away. And the Yellow Jackets looking like they have an answer for everything. One of the players ends up on the field, but nothing doing. They're going to keep the action going. Phillips, the man who just uh, scored the goal. Clears of the way for the Yellow Jackets. And now here's the uh, Pioneers with another look to get something going. Here's Beltran over there on the far side near the midfield stripe. Playing keep away, but having a difficult time doing it. Kick up with the far sideline. Here's Gio kicking it around. Beltran is back with the ball. Phillips there getting in the way of uh, Beltran's kick, but the uh, Pioneers uh, set it up yet again. A 
Kofi clears it away. Here's Felipe with it. And they'll get it back to Erickson. Five and a half until halftime, three nothing. Graceland in front of Mid-American Nazarene. Erickson with a long kick. And now here's Phillips. Ball ends up out of bounds and the Yellow Jackets will have a throw in here. Just out of, outside of five minutes to play until halftime. Three nothing is that score. <laughs> Psych, <laughs> they let it go. Kofi kicking it off to Beltran over there on the far side. Geo ends up with it. Yeah, a good little look there, and the ball out of bounds. They're on the far side of the field. So who would have thunk it? 3 nothing. Graceland in front of the Mid-American Nazarene Pioneers. <laughs> Yellow Jackets 4-5 and five on the season. They're 3-2 and two here at home, while the Pioneers are 3-2 and two on the road. So they mentioned before, something's got to give here. Schmidt with the long kick. And now a foot race. Felipe back to Erickson. He's just going to boot it away. Good little head move there by Beltran. Now here is Kofi. Stefan Felipe ends up with it. Mid-American Nazarene trying to establish something. Had a hard time getting anywhere near close to the boxes of late. They're down 3 nothing. Here's Kofi. Kick it back to Felipe. And across the court, he is uh, across the field. He kicks it over there to Gio. And a kick out of bounds, so the Pioneers retain possession just outside of three minutes to play here in the first half. 3 nothing is the score. Pioneers of Mid-America Nazarene down by that 3 nothing count. Here's another kick, long one. And yet another save, it looks like, for the Yellow Jackets, Michael Schmidt. Lucas Machado had a good look at it, but yet Schmidt was there again and ready and waiting. Mid-America on the attack yet again. Stefan Felipe here along the near sideline. And, oh, Felipe going very, very deep. Don't see him usually up this close to the box, but he's, uh, he's really taking a, taking a bigger step here. As we can see, a long clear-out kick by the Yellow Jackets. And uh, offsides. And Yassin Hamachuchi puts his hands up saying, hey, what did I do? Free kick coming up here for the Pioneers. Under two to play until halftime. Here's Norris with the kick. Ops to get it over to uh, Beltran. And there he'll have a long booter. And Schmidt gets his hands on it to clear it away. No look hook there by uh, Kofi. And Machado here along the near sideline. Machado trying to chase it down before it gets out of bounds. It's going to be Yellow Jacket ball. 70 seconds to play here in the first half. Yellow Jackets of Graceland ahead of the Pioneers of Mid-America Nazarene, 3-0. Schmidt with a long kick. A head move there by Phillips as he went up for it. Kofi was right with him, but it looked like Kofi had a little shove in the back as well, too. And we have an exchange of head moves here by Mid-American Nazarene. 
About 35 seconds to play until halftime. Andy Quintanilla, he scored one goal tonight. Here's a long kick. No. Out of the end line. Clock still rolling 22 seconds. Here's Erickson with a long kick. This one is high and just beautiful. 10, 9. Eight, As you hear, there's 10 seconds seven, to play. As so they count down. And so the first 45 minutes is in the books. And the hometown Graceland University Yellow Jackets are in front of the Pioneers of Mid-America Nazarene. Three to nothing, if you can believe that. Great performance, and they'll have a good pep talk here at halftime. And we'll step aside as well, too. Again, halftime here in Lamona, Iowa, Graceland University. The hometown Yellow Jackets up on the Mid-America Nazarene Pirates. Uh, Pioneers, that is, three nothing. We'll be back in just a moment. Graceland is a, is a great university because of the people and because of the individuals we have here. Our Graceland soccer program um, stands out because we care for those individuals to develop them as people. In our program, we define success both in the classroom and on the soccer pitch. Tra -la -la -tra -la -tra -la. At MSCAA.com slash education. Each year, the NSCAA puts over 7,000 coaches through our coaching education program. Youth, high school, and college coaches at all levels participate in the diploma courses. Join your peers and get educated. Better coaching, better players, better game. NSCAA Coaching Academy. Improving soccer, one coach at a time. Register today at nscaa.com slash education.
Hey, we'd like to thank our official hotel sponsor of tonight's National Game of the Week broadcast, Super 8 Motel, right here in Lamoni, Iowa, just two miles from Graceland's campus off US 69. Super 8 Motel is a great, convenient location for fans, families, and opposing teams to stay while in town visiting Graceland University. To learn more or to book your next stay, visit them online at www.super8.com or call their location here in Lamoni directly. That number is 641 784 or 7,500. Scott Miller here with you here at uh, Graceland University. It's halftime of the men's contest between the hometown Graceland University Yellow Jackets and the visiting Mid-American Nazarene Pioneers. And by all accounts, this is probably a big shock here at halftime because the Graceland University Yellow Jackets are four and five on the season. They've lost three games to ranked opponents, but tonight they lead three nothing over a ranked opponent in Mid-America Nazarene. Here's how that scoring went in that first half. It was scoreless until the 22nd minute when Andy Quintanilla of uh, Graceland University scored the game's first goal to give the uh, Yellow Jackets a 1-0 lead. Then in the 28th minute, Brandon Beresford scored the second goal of the night for the Yellow Jackets. Actually, he scored first, but then they had a little uh, reconsideration. They added on a uh, on a, uh, on a penalty kick, and that made it 2-0. And then in the 38th minute, Cody Phillips was at the right place, right time, off a corner kick. Andy Keaton kicked it along the end line. Phillips waiting for it right there on the left side of the goal, and in, and in it went, and it was 3-0 at that point, and the Yellow Jackets held the Pioneers scoreless there in the first 45 minutes of play, and they are down 3 nothing. I'd love to hear what the halftime speech was with uh, Coach Kevin Wardlaw and Mid-America Nazarene. Probably was, guys, you got to be playing a lot better and just don't get too caught up in who you are. But you got to know that uh, the Graceland University Yellow Jackets getting tired of beating by these ranked teams, so they're going to play like they've got nothing to lose. Of course, the big news for them, the big thing about tonight's win, it would not be so much against a ranked opponent, is that it would give them a 1-0 one, a one and mark in Heart of America Athletic Conference play, which is what they're shooting for is a conference championship. So that's got to get them off to a good start. So definitely a different uh, halftime speech coming from them. It's more like, guys, just keep doing what you're doing in the first 45 minutes of play. And as you see on the screen right now, Mid-America Nazarene just kind of huddled up there, taking a knee, having the final word or two as we have about two minutes to go before we resume play. Live, live stream games, rankings, releases, reviews, and so much more. Join us every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time to tune in for a weekly college highlights and ranking show. There's nothing like this anywhere else, and you can only see it on NSCAATV.com. So both teams back out on the field. Our officials are back in from their halftime break. And the fans are slowly making their way back to their seats. Another 45 minutes of play here at Graceland University. Again, the hometown Yellow Jackets up 3-0 on the Mid-American Nazarene Pioneers. And the music is off, and uh, that's a good sign because that means we're ready to play. Clock is all set, and we're ready to go. So the Yellow Jackets have the first look at the uh, second half. Long kick up ahead, just beautiful one there. And 
Now here are the Pioneers trying to establish something. They've got to get something going here because they're down 3 nothing. Norris there with a long kick up ahead. And undercut by the Yellow Jackets. No call there. And here come the Yellow Jackets on the attack. Cisse in over to the corner of the Quintanilla. And we have a whistle away from everything. Offsides by the Yellow Jackets. So offsides is the call there. So Mid-America Nazarene will get to work again. Here's Felipe over to Norris here along the near side of the field. He's playing keep away, just trying to see what's, uh, what's going on here early on. So they're beginning the second half just like they did the first half. Again, content just to keep it there near the back perimeter of everybody just to see what uh, the Yellow Jackets are going to react, react with. And now here's a little bit of an attack, but not much. As Lucas Machado sends it back to uh, Felipe. And now he'll unload a big one. Beltran there with a good head move there. And Schmidt clears it away. Felipe's got to chase it down. And again, back to Erickson. Norris here along the near sideline. He's got another long boot. And trying to chase it down. Yeah, they do keep it. Here's Beltran with it in the corner. And off the foot of one of the Yellow Jackets. So the uh, Pioneers will have a throw in here. We've played just about two minutes here in the second half. Still 3-0 the score. Yellow Jackets in front of the Pioneers. Every time they get the ball for a throw in, there's about two or three seconds where they got to wipe the ball off. Looks like a little too much push in there. So the Yellow Jackets have a kick. Here we go. It's a long one, and it's, it's a beaut. Absolutely beautiful. Machado there with a good uh, behind the head move. Look. Long kick there over to the right side of the field from uh, Bletlinger. Pioneers again, just setting it up, seeing what's out there for them. They're down 3 nothing. Looks like we've just played three minutes here in the uh, second half. Norris again, he is the long kicker up ahead into uh, the front side of the field. But the Yellow Jackets there to steal it away. And a free kick coming up here for Mid-America Nazarene. And it's going to be Lippi Sousa. Actually, he gets it over there to Felipe. He has the long kick ahead and a good head move there by the Yellow Jackets. Just to keep things away. And another whistle. This time it's going to be the Yellow Jackets who get the kick. After the Pioneers pick up that foul. Just outside of four minutes gone by here in the second half. Still 3-0. Graceland in front of Mid-America Nazarene. And Felipe chasing it down there. And he'll just get over to Erickson, and we're back to action. Mid-America still near the midfield area. Trish trying to clear it out. Here's Norris again doing like he always does, booting it into the scoring half of the field. Machado there with uh, trouble and a takeaway there by the Yellow Jackets. Kofi with a kick, and the ball ends up in the corner. Machado. One of his teammates there. Now here's Beltran with it, getting it to the top of the box. Now back to Beltran.
Back over here inside the corner. And the Yellow Jackets clear it. Sousa tried to get something going there, but just couldn't do it. And now he's going to have a throw in here. Looking around for somebody, anybody. Finally does get it in. And a whistle. And the Pioneers are going to have a kick. Seuss to kick it. Lipe Seuss, the senior out of Rio de Janeiro, Brasil. One of the many international players they have for the Pioneers. His kick is uh, head-butted away by the uh, Yellow Jackets. And now here's Andy Quintanilla. He scored a goal tonight. Could he make it number two here? He's having some trouble. Oh, a good head move there to save a potential goal. And a good little move there by the hometown Yellow Jackets. Kevin Err, senior from Creston, Iowa, just to clear it out. Little juke move there by Brandon Beresford, who also has scored a goal. And it looks like we got some offside action there. So ball going back to Mid-American Nazarene. The Yellow Jackets, Lettlinger, get it into their uh, Brandon Beresford. Beresford with double team, hands all over him. And the Pioneers coming with him, but Beresford has it, but then the whistle called against Beresford. <laughs> but he doesn't have anything to say to the official, it just gives him a pat on the back and he walks away from it. <laughs> Give him the good sportsmanship award, at least for that play. Back to action now. 3-0 still the score. Yellow Jackets in front of the Pioneers. Coming up on eight minutes gone by here in the second half. Here's Beltran with it right at midfield. Get it back to Norrest. And there he is. Here's his patented long kick. A couple of head moves there. Once, twice, and now. Here's Lucas Machado. Being bothered there by Beresford. Back to Felipe. Machado sends it over to the uh, far side of the field. Back to Felipe. Long kick off the foot of uh, the Yellow Jackets. So a throw in coming up here for Mid-American Nazarene. Another throw in coming in for the Pioneers. Throwing. We're coming up on nine minutes gone by here in the second half. Seal 3 nothing. Graceland in front of Mid-America Nazarene. And the ball out of the end line. We played nine minutes exactly here in the second half. 3 nothing is your score. Graceland University in front of Mid-America Nazarene. Good little move there by uh, Mid-America Nazarene's Alvaro Beltran. And he ends up on the field. And before they get the ball into play, we have a whistle. Now throw in there, Norris. We'll get it. We'll have the honors. And now here's Beltran with it again. Getting it back to Norris, and now he'll send it over to Felipe. Andy Quintanilla nearly has another look at a goal, but hey, he has some help now. Kick, and Beresford kicks it, nearly gets it, but he's saved. Oh, my goodness. Erickson with a save, then a goal save as well, too. Score stays 3-0, but Brandon Beresford 
had the potential of having his second goal of the night. Norris with a long kick up ahead. Yellow Jackets clear it. And out of bounds. Yellow Jackets will have a throw in here momentarily. Cisse with the battle there. And a good little move there, just tied up in action. Ball goes right to the goal, but waiting for it right there is Schmidt. Quintanilla kicking over there to the far side of the field. Now the Pioneers just forced to play keep away. Norris with a little uh, boot back to Erickson. The Bears forgot just a little bit of a foot on it. But nothing doing there. Kick and a save. Schmidt with another one. And I believe the player who attempted that was Lipe Sousa for Mid-American Nazarene. 12 minutes gone by here in the second half. Still 3-0 is the score. Graceland in front of Mid-American Nazarene. Mid-America ranked 15th or 16th, depending on which poll you look at. Graceland has yet to be the ranked team this year. At 33 minutes away from doing so. Machado there over on the far side, being a double team now. And he's thrown to the turf and so he'll have a free kick coming up here. Got a couple of substitutions for both clubs coming in in just a moment when we have a chance. For Mid-America Nazarene it'll be Matias Fernandez. He'll be back in. He was in in the first half. Hadn't seen him in a while. And Steven Felipe or make that uh, Yassin Hamo we'll get that name in just a moment. <laughs> Long kick. And a clear out kick for the Yellow Jackets. In for the Yellow Jackets, Fernandez. Three, Ham Chewy is in for the Yellow Jackets. And Fernandez in for the Pioneers. Sitting down for the Yellow Jackets is Barcellus. And I didn't really see who came out for Mid America. Anyway, back to action. Here we go. Here's Beltran near the corner area. Trying to get a couple of juke moves there, but a ball kicked out by the Yellow Jacket. And so a throw in coming here for Beltran. There you go. Throw along the end line, then just kick it out there for the Yellow Jackets. Goes off coffee, but they're going to say it's off the Yellow Jackets, and so the Pioneers will have the throw in here. A little head move there by Mid American Nazarenes. That's uh, Rodrigo Rivas. Throw in here for the Yellow Jackets. A little push from behind. And the Pioneers are going to have the throw in. We could have a substitution in for Mid-America Nazarene. Eddie Morales, the sophomore from Riverside, California, comes in, taking the place of Lucas Machado. Out of bounds, and Pioneers again with a throw in. Here's Beresford of Graceland just kicking it away over there on the far sideline. Huh. 
<laughs> so here comes a kick for Mid-American Nazarene. Long one, and here's Beltran in the corner area. Long kick into the box, and a hand save there by Schmidt. Oh, and a good move by Beresford there to get it out of there. Kick out of bounds, and so the Graceland Yellow Jackets will have a throw in. And the Pioneers content just to kick it back to Erickson just to kind of set things up yet again. Just under 29 minutes to play here in the second half. Still 3-0. Graceland in front of Mid-American Nazarene. Kofi over here to Norris. Give it off to Beltran. Beltran. Kicking it around. Kofi ends up with it again. Now to Beltran. Ooh. Here's the Yellow Jackets, a good move. Hamachi, chasing it down, undercut there by Kofi. No call, and the Pioneers end up with it. Alvaro Beltran, getting it off to Kofi. And again, the Pioneers trying to set up something here. Another look here. Possibly, maybe. Nah, but a clear out there by the Yellow Jackets. Off the foot of Beltran here along the near sideline, and so... It'll be the Yellow Jackets with the throw-in. Stay with us at the end of the contest uh, when we'll name our man of the match, and we'll have a post-game interview with him. We'll see what happens here. Still got a lot of uh, soccer to play, but we will pick, we'll be picking the man of the match tonight and hopefully have a post-game visit with him as well. Just outside of 27 minutes to play here in the uh, second half. 3 nothing is your score. The Yellow Jackets in front of the Pioneers of Mid-America Nazarene. You'd certainly have to put the three scores of the uh, Yellow Jackets in as a possible man of the match. That would be Quintanilla, Beresford, and Phillips. But if you have to give an early nod, I think it might be Beresford. In addition to the, uh, the goal he scored in the first half, he's just been in some very key plays here defensively in the second half. Here's a long throw in by Beltran. And another good look there by Beresford. Gets on the back of his opponent with a head move there. And uh, it's Schmidt who cleans it up there, and now here's his long kick. Here's Mid-American Nazarene just trying to get it away. 19 minutes we played here in the second half. Still 3-0. Graceland in front of Mid-American Nazarene. And the ball is out of bounds, so Mid-America with a throw in here off uh, Yasin Hamchui. I hope I say that right. <laughs> Here's Beltran with it, near sideline. Fernandez now. It's been a while since we called his name. Let's see if he had a good uh, rest on the bench. Ready for more action here in the second half. Humchui. Andy Quintanilla back to Humchui. And a good uh, kick away there by Mid-American Nazarene's Felipe. Erickson to stop it there and throws it out, and here we go. Mid-America now on the attack. Here's Fernandez. Kick it over to the Norest. And as we usually see him, here's his long kick. Up ahead. 
And Schmidt just picks it up. And that's the end of that. Schmidt looked like he wanted to throw up, and now instead he just boots it away. Quintanilla over to Cisse. I mean, Cisse, and it looks like we're going to have a substitution coming in for uh, Mid America Nazarene when they have a moment or two. Janali Gio, who we saw a little bit in the first half, will be coming in. And Gio comes in. And he will take the place of Alvaro Beltran, who's played very, very tough in tonight's contest for the Pioneers. We have a whistle. And we're set with the throw in. Here we go. Norris gets it in. Now here's uh, Beresford. Up ahead to Cisse. Cisse in there with the footwork with Norris. Now here's a kick along the end line. Hey, Quintana is there. As is a follow kick, but no. A save off the side of the goal. Score stays 3-0. Once again, the Yellow Jackets had a chance once, twice, but couldn't come up with it. So here they go again. Beresford. Kicking it up ahead. Here's Cissé yet again. Looks like the entire sequence being played over again. Cissé going against Gio, and now Gio knocks him to the ground. No whistle. That sends the crowd wacko here. <laughs> Even the head coach of Graceland is putting his hands in the air saying, what's going on? That's Guillermo Sanchez. And now the Yellow Jackets just trying to clear it out, hanging on to the 3-0 lead. As we've played 23 minutes just about here in the second half. Andy Quintanilla there on the far side of the field. Moving ever so closer to the box. Has it booted away momentarily by Felipe. And here come the Pioneers on the attack. Fernandez now near midfield. Here's Norris. Near sideline. And a head move by uh, the Yellow Jackets to clear it away. Fernandez over to Norrest in the corner now. There's the little foot race and the kick, and it goes off the foot of Mid-American Nazarene. So a throw in coming up by the Yellow Jackets. A couple of substitutions now for the uh, Yellow Jackets, and here they are. In coming in Jackets, is number nine, Sergi Truas and Ryan Schlamm. Schlamm. Schlamm back in. One of the players coming out is Lamine Cisse and Cody Phillips. Phillips scored the third goal of the night for the Yellow Jackets. He gets a well-deserved break. And that comes with just under 14 minutes gone by here in the, uh, make that 24 minutes here in the second half. Now back to action now. Here's Mid-American Nazarene. But the Jackets take it away. Here comes uh, Andy Quintanilla. And offsides. <laughs> Called against the Yellow Jackets. My goodness. If that doesn't pull the plug, I don't know what does. It just <laughs> drains everybody. <laughs> now here's the Pioneers again trying to establish something. Been shut out so far tonight. in just about 65 minutes of play. Arrest again, here's Fernandez near midfield. He's being pushed around by Beresford, and Beresford wins this little battle. And another offsides. Yasin Hamchui <laughs> puts his hands in the air saying, what, and now head coach Sanchez <laughs> has his own little episode over that one. 
Lots of animation up here in Lamoni, Iowa this evening. Here's Norrest again. And now Quintanilla gets in the way. Here's Beresford. And another offsides. Oh, my goodness gracious. Three times up the field the Yellow Jackets have gone, and three times it's ended up as offsides. Jackets now with a substitution coming in. When we have a moment, Abraham Shomar will come in. When we have a moment. In the meantime now, here is... Norrest in to kick it away for Mid-America Nazarene. It's a long, beautiful kick. Lots of traffic there. A head move there by Beresford to clear it out. Here come the Pioneers on the attack, maybe. No, just a kick out. And does the ball go in the water? No, it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it on your screens, but uh, there's a big body of water over there just to the east of the field. And I asked the question, did they get points if they get in the water? Here's a long throw in by the Pioneers. And a good clear out there by the Yellow Jackets. Kick up ahead. But the Pioneers get in the way of it. That probably saves another offsides. Norrest again, high kick into the box. Mid-America getting a little bit desperate here. Norris. And Gio has it taken away. Hamchui. Get it over across the field. No. Taken away by the Pioneers. Fernandez with it. He chases it down. Morales. Looking around for help. Finds Gio here. In the midfield area. And gets it back to Felipe. Here's another good boot there. And another kick away by the uh, Yellow Jackets. Bettlinger. Now Fernandez. Getting over here on the near side to uh, Larson. And a kick on top of the goal net. And out the back. Nicholas Larson. With a good look at the uh, goal, but just on the other end wasn't enough there. Alvaro Beltran is back in for Mid-America Nazarene, as is Shomar for Graceland. Into the Yellow Jackets, number 20. Also coming back in for the uh, Pioneers, Lucas Machado, the sophomore from Concord, California. Home of the Blue Devils, if those of you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, it doesn't matter, it doesn't concern you anyway. Here we go with a corner kick for the uh, Mid-America Nazarene Pioneers, their second of the night. And a good head move there by the Yellow Jacket, clears it away, and the kick by Coffey. Off right of the goal, and so the score stays 3-0. Here in the second half. Hey, don't forget you can purchase a video download of any contest of this fall's Game of the Week series by heading to our website, www.torbosportsgroup.com. Make the order, and Torbo Sports will send email, and they will email you a link to download the game in full for yours forever to keep. Here's Fernandez for Mid-America Nazarene. Trying to clear it over there to Kofi. Now here's the Yellow Jackets on the attack. Along the near side, here's Tru Truis. And has that taken away. We've played 30 minutes here in the second half. Still no score from the Mid-America Nazarene. And a save by Schmidt. Or just taking the ball away. Because it looked like uh, Nicholas Larson had a chance to uh, boot it in. But uh, Schmidt just kind of broke it up there. A score stays 3-0. Under 15 to play here in the second half. 3-0 to score. Yellow Jackets in front of the Pioneers.
And a whistle, finally. As Mid-America's Lucas Machado ends up on the turf. And so a free kick coming up here for the Pioneers. It's going to be Mat Mat Matias Fernandez to do the booting. And here's the kick. Lots of traffic there. A couple of head moves there. And whistles. And it's going to go the way of the Yellow Jackets. Again, the Jackets are 0-3 against ranked opponents this year. But they are 13 minutes and change away from getting their first victory against a ranked team this year. Now the Pioneers again fading back to that. Uh, just cleared around, see what happens, see how the uh, Yellow Jackets uh, get going here. No rest. Getting over there to Felipe and he'll kick it along the far sideline and a clear out kick by the Yellow Jackets. No rest again. This time he has to chase the ball down and he'll do it with help from Bill. Beltran now. Kofi now with a kick. And the ball goes out the end line. So the old Jackets will have a kick here by Schmidt. And once again, want to remind you we'll have a man of the match there at the end of the game. And we'll uh, hopefully have a conversation with him. If it comes from the Yellow Jackets, well, you can be—it's it's, going to be a happy conversation because it's—they uh, just haven't uh, had any any luck against ranked opponents this year. But if they hold on here for another 12 minutes or so, they can say they finally did it, put an end to a two-game slide, and go one and zero in the conference. That'll be the, probably the biggest thing that they'll uh, be uh, shining about after this one is over. For the meantime, let's get back to the game now. Here's Fernandez. Trouble there, a little boot. Here's Machado. Maybe, maybe. Oh, has it booted out of bounds. And I believe we might have a corner kick here coming up. We will indeed. The third corner kick of the night for the Pioneers. And it's Fernandez who's going to do the long kick. Here's the approach, here's the kick into traffic, and nobody there. So another clear out kick for the Yellow Jackets. Ooh, here's Ham Chui, top of the box. Here's the kick, and Erickson with a good save there. Beltran, oh, goes right into the opponent, throws him to the turf. My goodness gracious. Looked like the linebacker for the University of Iowa on that one. <laughs> Free kick coming up for the Yellow Jackets. Just outside of 10 minutes to play here in the game. They're up 3 nothing. Here's the kick into traffic. And the Pioneers are cleared away, but the Yellow Jackets end up with it again. Letlinger up ahead, head move there by Felipe. Here's Beresford looking for a second goal on the night. Kick, no. Good defensive move there by the Pioneers to save that. It was not a Schmidt save, but it was a good.
Good save nevertheless. Alvaro Beltran. Kick it over to the far side of the field. It's Gio over there. And he kicks it right to Sebastian Pineda. Foot race yet again. Here's Norris against uh, Amchui. And Norris with a long kick. Here we go. Lucas Machado. Looking for some help there. And he gets shoved to the ground. And the one who gets called for that shove is Cody Bletlinger. So a free kick coming up here for the uh, Pioneers. And Fernandez is going to do the honors. Matias Fernandez, a sophomore from Santiago, Chile. You can bet they play tons of soccer down there. Here's the kick into the box. And a good head move there by uh, Graceland to clear it out. Here's a kick by Fernandez. And another save by Michael Schmidt, the senior out of Ames, Iowa. You know, I know the offensive players always kind of get the nod, but hey, I think Schmidt might actually be a good, uh, good fit for tonight's man of the match. He's had a busy night. And if he gets a shutout, who knows? Maybe have two, two man, men of the match. I don't know. We'll discuss it later on. <laughs> now here's Erickson way out of, uh, way out of his comfort zone um, with the kick. Head move after head move there, and now a clear out kick for the Yellow Jackets. Coffey. Long kick, and just goes out the end line. Just outside of seven minutes to play in this contest, three nothing is the score. The Yellow Jackets in front Jackets of Mid American Nazarene. We have a substitution now for the Pioneers. Taylor Esparza is back in the game, and he will take the place of Eddie Morales. For the Pioneers, Taylor Esparza. <laughs> I'm laughing because we have some uh, mispronunciations from the PA announcer here and the local Mid America or the Mid America Nazarene fans that came gave their big unison correction to the PA announcer. Got a free kick coming up here for Mid America Nazarene. Six and a half to play. They're down three nothing. Actually, it's going to be a free kick for uh, the Yellow Jackets. And we have a stoppage in play. That will give Miranda a chance to tie his shoes. And here we go. Here's the kick. Oh, immediately. A good head move there by the Pioneers. Machado with a good kick near the top of the box. No rest. And the ball goes out of the end line, and it looks like we've got a corner kick coming up here for the Pioneers. This is their fourth corner kick of the night. And Matthias Fernandez will do the honors yet again. Running over the help is Machado. It's almost like you don't know who's going to kick. Okay, Machado lines up for the kick. Here we go. Here's the boot. And now here's the clear out. By Pineda. And here's a long kick ahead again. All going back to the Yellow Jackets. We have more substitutions now. For Graceland, Gallegos, Gabriel Gallegos coming in, the senior from Venezuela. And he'll take the place of Abraham Shomar. And I also thought I saw Cisse coming back into the contest as well. Under five to play here in this contest. 
Mid-America better turn on the burners now. They're down 3 nothing. Long kick with a head move there. Beresford getting in on that head action there. Kofi now for uh, Mid-America with a high kick. And there is Schmidt on the other side there waiting for it to curl it in. Four and a half to play. Graceland up 3-0 over Mid-America Nazarene. Here's the kick. One of the longer kicks Schmidt has put on for tonight. And here's Mid-America Nazarene. We'll, uh, we'll pick uh, the man of the match here in just a couple minutes. Beltran going for a good move there, but has it uh, kicked out by the Yellow Jacket. So here comes the Pioneers again. After the throw in, here's Fernandez. Gets it over to uh, Felipe. Long kick up the far sideline there for the Yellow Jackets. And now they have to uh, <laughs> get the ball out from the uh, marsh there over there on the east side of the field. Under three to play. Three nothing. It is the lead for the Yellow Jackets in front of the Pioneers. Corner action there. And along here on the near side is Norest. Coffee back to Norest. And... Ball goes out the end line. Good to see there. Both players, both opponents get up with a little handshake off one another. Just shake it off and keep playing. A lot of substitutions uh, set to come in for uh, Graceland when we get a moment or two. And for now, let's get back to action. And the kick out of bounds to the uh, Pioneers for another throw in. And here we go. Fernandez. Get it over to Machado. Machado has it booted away. Felipe. Machado. Under two to play. About 90 seconds left. And with Mid-America having to get something going here. Moves like that by Beresford only adds to the frustration. Long kicks take time off the clock. Here we go. Mid-America trying to set up for something here now. Coffee with a long kick. Head move there by the Yellow Jackets, and here we go for Mid-America yet again. Beltran with a kick up ahead. Fernandez with a kick along the end line, and Schmidt again falls on the ball to end that. 60 seconds to play. And barring anything absolutely wild and crazy, Graceland's going to win this one to go to 1-0 in the Heart of America Athletic Conference. A little pushing and shoving. Graceland shakes it off. 35 seconds left to play. Schlom over there. Being hampered and harassed. And here's the kick and a save. Kick off the foot of uh, Miranda for the Yellow Jackets. And here we go, the final 20 seconds. Machado has it taken away. And with the head move there, that's Bletlinger. But he also got part of the foot. And you hear the countdown. This game's going to go in the books. That's the game, 3-0. The Yellow Jackets of Graceland University defeat Mid-America Nazarene.
three to nothing. They go to five and five on the year, while Mid American Nazarene will drop to eight, three, and one. But for the first time in 2013, the Yellow Jackets defeat a ranked team. They were 0-3 against ranked teams headed into tonight's game. The fourth time is the charm for them, and they get the victory over Mid-American Nazarene, 3-0. We'll take a timeout here and come back, hopefully have a visit with the man of the match. We'll be back in just a moment. Grayson is a, is a great university because of the people and because of the individuals we have here. Our Grayson soccer program um, stands out because we care for those individuals to develop them as people. In our program, we define success both in the classroom and on the soccer pitch. Grayson is a, is a good university because... Tra -la -la -tra -la -tra -la -la. over 7,000 coaches through our coaching education program. Youth, high school, and college coaches at all levels participate in the diploma courses. Join your peers and get educated. Better coaching, better players, better game. NSCAA Coaching Academy. Improving soccer, one coach at a time. Register today at nscaa.com slash education. Hey, we'd like to thank our official hotel sponsor of tonight's National Game of the Week broadcast, Super 8 Motel, right here in Lamoni, Iowa, just two miles from Graceland's campus off US 69. Super 8 Motel is a great, convenient location for fans, families, and opposing teams to stay while visiting Graceland University. To learn more or to book your next stay, visit them online at www.super8.com or call their location directly at 641-784-7500. Scott Miller with you here back at Lamona, Iowa, Graceland University, and what a victorious uh, night they had with a 3-0 victory over the Mid-America Nazarene Pioneers. And we welcome our man of the match, and that is the goalkeeper, Michael Schmidt. And Michael, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. I, I got to say, we were leaning towards maybe one of the offensive players, one of the people who scored, but I'll tell you, a 3-0 shutout says a lot about the goalkeeping. Talk about tonight's action. Well, I was... A lot of action. We had a great defense tonight. We played good as a team. We had good shape, and we played with a lot of heart. So it helped us out in the back, and that way we can distribute to the front. You had a lot of saves yourself, but how about some of your teammates who had defensive saves there where maybe you were out of position, but they were right there for the play? Yeah. Uh, Cody and Saba had a couple of saves right there when they were in good position to cover me. So it was very grateful. Yeah, you got you to gotta, uh, take hats off to your whole team against a team like Mid-America Nazarene. They're 8-2-1 and one on the season. They have all kinds of victories. But, you know, how was that to kind of – go up against them they had so much on their side headed into tonight's game well we just wanted to come out and show what we could do we've had a we've had a pretty good season a lot of tough losses playing a lot of games so we wanted to come and show that we can't play at this level and show what we can do yeah talk about probably one of the saves that just in, in your mind from tonight just really just stands out um probably in the first half they had a i believe it was a corner and the guy ran across and he caught in front and he got touched the ball and just got it with one hand those I thought that was a pretty big save. So. Did you have to pinch yourself at halftime and say, wow, we're really up 3 nothing"? Uh, it was believable because we were playing great, but it was still, we wanted to keep it going and keep them under pressure. So, Has everything been kind of leading up to this? Because you've had a lot of disappointments throughout this season to go 4-5 and five headed into tonight's game, two-game losing slide, but then you finally get into position to go 1-0 in the heart. Yeah, yeah, we was all leading up to this. We coached, prepared a good 
tough off season or off season off conference schedule, mm-hmm. so we could be prepared to play games like these when it comes to conference and win them. You know, you look at uh, what uh, is the uh, is, is the good thing for tonight. Certainly, you, you, you snap the two game losing slide. Uh, you beat a ranked team for the first time in four tries this year. But do you look at that one and no mark on the heart and say, "Wow, that's really the best thing that comes out of tonight's win"? Uh, yeah, it's impressive for us, but we still got to remember we got six more games of conference, so we're yeah. looking forward to that. Yeah, it's just uh, the the first part first of the step, yep. first step. So, well, again, this is the the man of the match, and it is uh, Michael Schmidt, the senior goalkeeper from Ames, Iowa. Michael, thank you very much for your time. Congratulations again. So three nothing, the final score, Graceland over uh, Mid American Nazarene, and now we welcome the head coach of uh, Graceland University. This is Guillermo Sanchez, and coach, congratulations. Hey, thank you, thank I, you. I guess I got to ask your feelings on this one. You got to be very proud of your guys. Yes, I'm proud because they came out of a rough weekend, uh, and it was tough losing those two games, mm-hmm. and psychologically they were down. And all I had to let them know is that I believe in them and to believe in themselves because I know they're. They're good enough to win these games, and, and, and that's all we needed. I want to ask you about your uh, three guys who uh, had the uh, s- the scores tonight. Uh, Quintanilla, first of all, who's you know your leading scorer of the team. Also, uh, Brandon Beresford and then Phillips, right place at the right time, all these guys were. Yes, yes. It, I, I think I, I told the guys at halftime they would score the first two goals because of the desire and the heart of not letting – not thinking the ball is lost and just giving that extra uh, mile, extra edge – and and that's how we scored both of goals, you know. Yeah, and then and then the other thing about Brandon Beresford, I want to say, is that we were kind of leaning towards him for the man of the match because in the second half he stepped it up defensively to go along with the first half offense. Your thoughts on Brandon? Yeah, Brandon is a tremendous athlete, and we can use him on top. We can use him in the back, and and we knew they were going to go uh, uh, long balls all game long, and so when we were up, we dropped him in the middle to to be more near the balls in the air and clear those balls. And he, he gave us the heart and he gave us the desire to win those, and he did. Talk about the respect you have for a team like a Mid-American Nazarene that comes in here ranked 8-2-1 and one on the season and yet to, to pull away from them and, you know, shut them out. Oh, Mid-America is a tremendous team. We just beat a, one of the best teams in the nation right now. Um, they're well coached and they adapted. They changed systems two or three times during the game and we had to adapt. So the guys responded well. It's it's a great victory for the guys and it's nice to have all the alumni. We had like a soccer homecoming today okay, good. and it, this win is, is for those who believe in us and for those who don't believe in us. <laughs> and hopefully there are not too many who don't believe in it, but if they don't, they should now because you just defeated Mid-American Nazarene 3 nothing. Coach, congratulations hey, again. Thanks, thanks for coming. Thank you very much. Coach uh, Guillermo Sanchez, the head coach of Graceland University on defeating Mid-American Nazarene, 3 nothing here in Lamoni, Iowa. A great broadcast we did have for you here tonight, and we're glad that you were with us. And certainly we'll be back with uh, more games throughout the season on TorvalSportsGroup.com. And we're set to wrap it up here at uh, Lamoni, Iowa, and we'll send you on your way in just a few moments. And you've been watching to live coverage of the 2013 Torbo National Men's Soccer Game of the Week presented by the NCNSCAA and Admiral Soccer. I'm Scott Miller saying so long from Lamoni, Iowa.